Welcome to the presentation of our paper, Graph-Based Multisensor Fusion for Consistent Localization of Autonomous Construction Robots. Large-scale excavation machines are one of the most versatile and powerful class of equipment. They have a wide range of real-world applications, one example being disaster response operations, for example in the event of floodings or earthquakes. However, nowadays such machines are still fully reliant on human operators, which strongly limits the range of operational conditions. In order to enable autonomy of large-scale construction machines, a reliable state estimation localization is one crucial building block that is needed for this particular use case. Smooth and consistent state estimates at high frequency are required in order to perform control in complex tasks reliably. An example of this can be seen in the control of the chassis, where reliable estimates with low latencies are crucial. Furthermore, what is particularly special about construction tasks is that also global positioning is required in order to perform the task correctly in the world frame. Finally, due to diverse operational environments, it is essential to handle special events such as sensor loss, in particular the loss of GNSS in the presented use case. An example is planning and driving, where smooth estimates are of importance, invariant to external environmental circumstances. As a result, the goal of this work is the development of an optimization-based state estimation and localization framework for achieving smooth and fast estimates. In particular, we focus on reliable behavior and presence of sensor loss and signal outages, for example, in the presence of bridges, trees, or high buildings. The chosen approach is based on factor graph optimization, where the most likely state of the system is estimated in a maximum a posteriori estimation. Assuming Gaussian noise on the measurements, this can be rewritten as a least squares optimization. In order to meet the previously introduced requirements, first, we introduce a multi-threaded prediction update loop, similar to how Kama filters function while keeping the flexibility of optimization-based approaches. And second, we introduce a dual graph formulation in order to handle reoccurring GNSS dropout. In the prediction update loop, Arriving IMU measurements are added to the buffer and the current state is pre-integrated at IMU rate using the estimated biases. A newly arriving global or local sensor measurement then empties the buffer and triggers the optimization. After the background optimization is finished, the latest current state is updated by integrating from the last optimized state. If new measurements have arrived in the meanwhile, the optimization is triggered again, leading to an emptying and refilling of the buffer. Moreover, we propose to have a dual graph setting with a main graph and a fallback graph. Here the fallback graph is built up in the background and activated when GNSS signal loss occurs. The fallback graph then makes use of LiDAR localization instead of LiDAR odometry by switching to unary factors and allows for a continuation of the insertion of odometry factors to the main graph, which is important if GNSS returns. The overall performance is demonstrated through experiments on two excavators. First, during a construction task, where one can observe accurate and smooth estimates of the state estimator, in particular for the case of GNSS loss, the proposed approach remains stable, while the previous work is becoming unstable, with occurring jumps due to inconsistency in the GNSS signal, as it can be seen in the green curve of the left video. During a navigation task, a comparison of the proposed approach and the previous deployed estimator is presented for global mapping. As long as GNSS signal is present, both maps are equally good, but as soon as GNSS becomes absent, in this case because the excavator is partly covered by trees, the presented approach still provides consistency due to the dual graph design. Thank you for your attention.